Hello everyone. So yeah, we are here again um, to talk about the trickster patches once more. And to be clear in the beginning, um, this time it's a giant band-aid. Uh, I have no better phrase to, to put on this. So let's have a look at this. First of all, uh, throw rate was buffed by 10-ish percent. Main event multiplier was doubled. Main event duration time was increased from 5 to 6. And the laceration meter was, uh, the decaying was buffed from 10 to 15 seconds again, which is good. Many people asked for the last one here. Is this actually better than before? Short answer, yes. Long answer, yes, but it's still worse than the old 4.4 trickster. I obviously did some math again on this. So let's start here. I, I did some math here again, obviously you'll see some extra lines on it. So the current throw rates are 3, three uh, knives per second, memento blades 3.63 per second, which means we are around about 2 to 4 blades uh, from the old ramping up meter speed to 5 blades out of the 8 in the, in the old throw rate scheme because it took 8 blades to get from 3 blades per second to 4 blades per second um, which is better but not really good main event throw rate is 5.47 or 5.48 so it's still slower than the old main event from the old 4.4 trackster before it got nerfed together with memento blades however it's roughly the same it was 6 blades per second back then, now it's 6.03, yeah, come on. But we are still aiming for 8 blades per health state. Which means an injure takes 2.42 seconds to, to actually get it on perfect timing on 60% accuracy, which is kind of generous. It's 3.88 or 3.9 seconds to actually injure a survivor, downing obviously doubled. Um, this is still a lot longer than in the past. So overall, even though this is a buff compared to before, it's still a nerf to where we started from. Yeah, it feels better now, but as mentioned, we are still far from where we should be. Uh, on the other hand, um, Waiting for You Watch and Lucky Blades um, got somehow really, really good in terms of main event usage which is kind of surprising to me because I always recommended to use uh, Tequila Moonrock and Inferno Rise in the past. To be honest, both have their strengths and weaknesses. I had good experiences on both tonight. Uh, maybe short explanation, it was released today. I just streamed for 7 hours as Trickster. It's okay, I guess. Um, but it brings us to another problem that's still not fixed and that's the add-ons. So add-on wise, Memento Blades are by now probably the strongest add-on on Trickster. Because it at least gives you a somewhat grasp of what the old Trickster was. That's not even a good thing, that you need an add-on to feel somewhat back to normal state. Because the old Trickster didn't have any major issues. g Autograph and Fistbin Soda. They increase the time for a combo ends by 15 and 10 percent. What they also, what the combos also do, which we didn't know or I didn't know in the last video, is that the combos also increase your main event by that same duration. So you not only get blood points by that, but you also get an extended main event for up to additional three seconds. So if you combine that with um, Tequila Moonrock, you can ramp up your main event at some point. Problem is. The 15% are still not worth it, because it's 15% of 3 seconds, or 10% of 3 seconds. These are cosmetic add-ons. If you pick them, you gain nothing. Because in that time that you can get in the very best case out of a combo, on these two add-ons you throw one additional blade, no matter if you use fist spin or autograph. It's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Also, some other add-ons got passively nerfed, like Edge of Revival album, which got passively nerfed because you need now 8 hits instead of 6. 
meaning the value of one hit isn't even close to be as good as it was in the past. Same for cutthroat use single, same for bloody boa because you need additional knives. So this is basically only one health state now, but it was a little bit more in the past. Same for trick pouch. Um, and we also lost the old era photo card and death Rose compilation. And while the photo card is somewhat okay, if you want to play in one trickster, whatever you want to do that. If you want to play in one trickster, please play Trapper. I don't know. It's a clown, maybe. If you don't want to use the knives, why would you play trickster? And Death Rose compilation is a somewhat weaker version, as I mentioned already, from the diamond cufflinks, but at the same time, the, the diamond cufflinks also got nerfed, which I didn't consider last time, because when the illustration reaches one blade from maximum. So back that was six, now it's eight. So they also got passively nerfed. We we still have so many issues ongoing compared to the old one. This is still a huge, not a huge nerf anymore, but it's still a nerf. And while I appreciate the effort, behavior has, has shown us that they didn't listen to us. Because the following thing is also happening. In the trickster feedback forums, not just me, but many others ask them to not mess this up. And I specifically added, um, just don't do one change pot fix and hope that at some point the community will be quiet or gone as other companies do. And with that huge bandit that it just stuck on trickster right now, this is basically what we, what we got. We got a bandit that, uh, that fixed some things and glued things together that shouldn't be glued together in that way to 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 make it make it into a picture and that way we now need to probably keep that until behavior is back from the christmas holiday because i'm 100 percent sure they won't do anything next week this unfortunately leaves me on a very sad note before christmas i'm honestly not sure what to do on the game um, it feels better again, yes. It's still not as good as it was in the past. And I'm not sure if Behavior actually read any of the feedback we gave. Especially the Tricks domains. And I'm also a little bit concerned because this could show other people, I should be careful on that one, that not even Behavior is, is, is listening on the Trickster players. Which is already a, a super small community compared to others. Which means that this is probably how the trickster will be for a very long time and i hope i'm wrong because i love this character that's the reason why i started playing dvd last week i noticed when i played more huntress and slinger and artist that i enjoy playing them but more as a filler between between trickster games and not as a as a main dish quote unquote a main event <laughs> um so yeah it's like i'm considering to take a long break from dvd if it's if it's not fixed in the end i considering just out of frustration to play nurse main because it must be so much more fun to face a nurse than a trickster according to the community so why don't give them the nurse then yeah and i want to end this on a on a very very interesting thought i guess because in january they want to change blight add-ons and right now we've seen how this can go wrong and honestly fingers crossed that the blight mains don't have to go through the same shit as trickster mains did uh, but maybe there's actually somebody within behavior that likes blight and probably nobody that likes trickster because i have no explanation how on earth this could have gone so wrong when the whole community gave a shitload of feedback when there are dedicated trickster mains that are streaming the game um, and they have all very similar opinions to it and we also agreed on certain things being too strong and we also agreed on certain things that needed to change but this missed the mark by so much and even now on the second hotfix where they promised to read all the feedback that we had in the forums and we're talking about five pages of feedback here it's not that short 
there were people actually writing letters in that. And I've seen so many survivors also in the past few days that were like, the new trickster isn't fun to play against. Um, and I guess I know where this is coming from, um, thanks to Revium, because I never thought about this as well. He has some very, very, very good insights on that. Um, and that's because in the past, if you played against Trickster, you got quote unquote negative feedback on your gameplay six times before you got injured and 12 times before you got down. That's the amount of hits that it needed. And now it's 8 and 16. And that can happen many, many times because you get hooked, you get unhooked, you get healed, you get injured, you get healed, you get injured, you get down, you get hooked. Um, so it's not like you get these 16 knives three times and it's over, but you get this over and over and over again. And there is a huge underlying issue in, in my opinion, behavior, not really understanding what trickster was about for the most for most of the tricks domains but yeah it's it's a very very long and and uh, exhausting topic i hope they will fix trickster to a degree where it's actually at least as good as it was in the past and where all the add-ons are usable again other than that thanks for watching if you want to support me or my work you can do that on ko-fi obviously over there <sighs> Thanks for watching and see you in the next one, hopefully with good news.